solve the following system using Gauss elimination method Gauss elimination method so the given system is x plus y plus twice z is equal to 8 then minus x minus 2y twice y plus thrice z is equal to 1 thrice x minus 7y plus 4z is equal to 10 now next we want to uh, write uh, the first step is we want to write this system into a matrix form x is equal to b we are going to also we are going to solve this system in maxima also maxima okay so x is equal to b where a is coefficient matrix x is a variable matrix and b is right hand side constant the first row is 1 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 3 3 minus 7 4 x is variable matrix so it is x y z and b is right hand side constant it is 8 1 10 next next step we want to form an augmented matrix so step number 2 augmented matrix a b for that we, we are going to add a right hand side constant matrix into a matrix a minus 1 minus 2 3 3 minus 7 4 and last column is right hand side constant that is this this uh, column we are going to add here so it is 8 1 10 so this way you can form augmented matrix in step number uh, 3 we are going to reduce this matrix to row echelon form uh, row echelon form by using row operations so um, now we want to make the first uh, entry in the first row should be 1 it is already 1 by using this one we are going to make these two entries are equal to 0 so R2 we are going to replace R2 by R2 plus R1 and R3 as equal to uh, R3 minus 3 times R1 so it is equal to 1 1 2 8 next minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 3 plus 2 5 and 8 plus 1 9 next r3 3 minus 3 so 3 minus 3 0 minus 7 minus 3 minus 10 4 minus uh, 6 it is equal to minus 8 uh, sorry 4 minus uh, 6 it is minus 2 minus 2 then uh, 10 minus uh, 18 10 minus 18 it is equal to minus 8 uh, sorry not 18 it is 24 so it is equal to sorry uh, 10 minus 24 is equal to 14 uh, next we want to make in the second row first a uh, non-zero entry should be 1 it is minus 1 so we are going to convert it by it by 1 by multiplying minus sign so minus 1 r2 so it is equal to 1 1 2 8 0 1 minus 5 minus 9 0 minus 10 minus 2 minus 14 next by using this one we are going to convert this entry is equal to 0 so for that we are going to apply the row operation r3 we are going to replace r3 as r3 plus 10 times r2 so if you use this row operation the first row and second row as it is 0 1 minus 5 minus 9 the second third row becomes 0 0 minus 10 plus 10 is 0 minus 2 uh, minus 2 minus 50 uh, so it is minus 52 and minus 14 uh, plus uh, minus 90 so it is 105 uh, 104 minus 104 okay now next uh, we want to make this entry is equal to 1 so for that we are going to multiply minus 1 by 52 r3 
if you use this row operation it is 1 1 2 8 0 1 minus 5 minus 9 0 0 1 and 2 now this matrix is in row echelon form above matrix is in a row echelon form non form so in the step number f uh, in the next step say step number 4 we are going to decide here uh, uh, whether this system is consistent or inconsistent for that what is the rank of AB the rank of augmented matrix how many non-zero rows are there total this is non-zero this is non-zero this is non-zero so three uh, three non-zero rows and what is the rank of A if you hide the th last column suppose if you hide this column here say if I am going to hide here say if you hide this this uh, column the remaining matrix is what a if a b if a augmented matrix is in row column form then the our original matrix is also what uh, matrix a is also what in row column form so the rank of a is also what 3 so here rank of a b is equal to rank of a so the matrix is cons uh, so the system is consistent consistent that is system has a solution now we are going to decide whether it is a uh, it has a unique solution or infinitely many solution or no solution so for, for step number v number of variables is equal to 3 and rank of a b is equal to rank of a is equal to n and therefore system has unique solution unique solution now we are going to find this unique solution by converting this matrix form to system form again we are going to convert this uh, matrix to what system form so it is what the first row is what x plus y plus y z equal to 8 so step number 5 a 6 x plus y plus uh, twice z is equal to 8 this is the first uh, equation the second equation is what uh, 0 uh, 0x y minus 5z equal to minus 9 minus y minus uh, y minus 5z uh, sorry minus y not y minus 5z y minus 5z equal to minus 9 and last uh, z is equal to 2 so here it, now you use the back substitution if you substitute this value in uh, second last equation we get y minus 10 is equal to minus 9 so this implies y is equal to minus 9 plus 10 and this implies y is equal to what 1 so y is equal to 1 now if you replace this y and z in equation number here x plus y plus z twice z is equal to 8 then we get here x plus y is 1 plus twice z is equal to 4 is equal to 8 so x plus 5 is equal to 8 and this implies x is equal to what 8 minus uh, 5 is equal to what 3 so our solution is what our solution is x is equal to 3 y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 and in vector notation you can write x is equal to or you can write this as x y z is equal to x is 3 y is 1 and z is equal to what 2 so this is the solution of the given system now we are going to use a maxima here for maxima uh, first uh, we are going to write an augmented matrix by using given a system so for augmented matrix we are going to use here a b a b notation a b is equal to a u g coefficient c o e f matrix matrix and we are going to pass the system here what is the system here system is x plus y plus twice z equal to 8 x plus sorry x plus twice y is y plus uh, x plus y plus twice z sorry x plus y plus twice z is equal to 8 then uh, minus x the next equation is what the next equation is minus x minus twice y minus x minus twice y minus x minus twice y plus thrice z plus thrice z equal to 1 
and last we get thrice x is star x minus 7 y 7 star y plus 4 z equal to 4 z equal to 10 in the variable and the given variable is what x y z given system is defining variable x y z so here we you get an coefficient matrix so the difference between augmented matrix the difference between the uh, our augmented matrix and in this augmented matrix is that we add here this mat, uh, uh, column b as it is 8 1 10 but in maxima uh, it added as a negative sign that is minus 8 minus 1 minus 10 but it, it doesn't if it uh, doesn't affect in our solution so this is augmented matrix next we want to convert this into a echelon form so echelon form of a b then we get 1 1 2 minus 8 1 0 1 minus 5 9 0 0 1 minus 2 you can check here you can check our row column form is also same 1 1 2 8 here is also 1 1 2 minus 8 is what uh, because of this right hand side constant then 0 1 0 uh, 1 minus 5 9 and 0 0 1 2 you can check here 0 0 1 minus 2 so now next by using uh, lin sol if you write this uh, this into again uh, matrix form then the first equation is what x plus y plus twice z is equal to uh, 8 the second equation is y since uh, here it is what y y minus 5 z so y minus 5 star z is equal to 9 and the third equation is what z is equal to 2 z is equal to and the variable given are variables given x y and z if you apply here sorry uh, i am writing x plus y plus twice z equal to 8 y minus 5 z is equal to is equal to 9 and z is equal to what z is equal to y minus 5 z is equal to 9 z is equal to 2 so no no here is not um, plus this 9 becomes when when we write it into a right hand side want to write it, it as a minus 9 now you, you can see here the solution is what x is equal to 3 y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 so by using this command in maxima x is equal to 3 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 2 so we get here x is equal to 3 y equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 here you can check here so we obtain the same solution here x is equal to 3 y equal to 1 z equal to 2 okay when we uh, convert uh, reduce into matrix row equal on form so by using this maxima command first you want to write into augmented matrix then convert equal on form and by using lin sol command uh, convert this um, equal on form into a again system form and by using lin sol you can uh, get a solution is x is equal to 3, y equal to 1 and z equal to 1, 2.